Mike, you spent the last couple of days at Marion uh, Golf Club in Marion. Uh, mm -hmm. What are your impressions of, of the, the golf course? And we've had some heavy rain and are calling for some more. How will that maybe change the course? I think it's going to change quite a bit. It's, it's, cert it's certainly not going to be what the guys who run this tournament hoped it was going to be, which is okay. hard and bouncy and fast. And it, it, it's a course with, it's very short by modern standards, but it has a lot of undulating fairways and a lot of fairways that tilt one way or the other. So, so there, there was a big element of, I, I, I've got to hit it, you know, shot making and precision. So to, to figure out where to hit the tee shots, now the tee shot is going to hit and stay there. So there's not, there's going to be no bounce. It's going to be a lot less complicated, I think, to sort of figure out how to approach it from the tee. So I think that's, I, I think a lot of people are disappointed. I think the players are actually are dis many of the players are disappointed that it's that that's how it's it, it's going to be. It's going to make it a little bit in less interesting, and I think probably make scores a little bit lower. But it's still it's this really cool old. The golf course that's really interesting from the from the hist history of the game, the history of the architecture of golf courses. It's just a really cool place. I had a lot of fun, even though it was we were limited in what we could do the last couple of days. Still, a lot of fun being down. Well, let me ask you about the setting. It, it uh, anything you would. How would you compare it to anything around here? And it seems like the houses are close, and, and yeah. you're going to have a lot of contact, and I heard well, neighborhood parties, and it's just yeah. a whole different setting you see usually on these big uh, U.S. Open type settings. Most, most modern golf, big golf facilities are, are 200 acres or more, up to yeah. 250 acres. This is 111 acres. It, it, it's surrounded on all sides by this very old, very elegant, but also very cramped little neighborhood with these roads that aren't even two-lane roads. They're like lane and a half mm. uh, and 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 lots of little it, it's very interesting and I, and I hope I'm hoping this weekend it's not very frustrating getting in and out of this okay. place and moving people around is going to be a challenge and this this mud bog that that has been created by the rain is going to make that even more of a challenge and more of a mess than the last couple in fact I have I I, I brought uh, I brought a sizable chunk of Marion home with me on the bottom of my shoes nice. uh, yesterday so so um yeah, absolutely free, and and uh, so, so I mean it's 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 very cool, very quirky, uh, interesting, and, and uh, it's just a, just a great great venue. It's cool that they that they that they brought the U.S. Open there because it they're not going to be able to make the money that they normally make on the U.S. Open. They're not going to be able to have the crowds, a lot of logistical issues that are that cost money to solve. So it's it complicates things a little bit, but they think it's worth it because of this venue. Is, is the venue sort of like a Mount Gretna with a big golf? Course? course. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, kind of a, a very, very ridiculously upscale Mount Gretna, if you so, could picture that. Local okay. local fans, if you can picture that. You got to interview some of the players the last two days. This is when they got a lot of the press conferences out of the way before yep. they really start. All, they'll be on the course today mm -hmm. trying to figure things out. Yep. What were your impressions? And anybody stick out with interviews that you did? Uh, you know, it was a lot of the normal stuff. I mean, I mean, Tiger... We, we continue to be amazed by how little of Tiger Tiger reveals of himself in these sure. things, and that's just that's who he is. Uh, um, it, you know, there was a moment where there was a moment where where Sergio went up to Tiger and shook hands and tried to talk. They exchanged a little bit of talk, but mostly it was Tiger nodding and Sergio talking just for a couple seconds. And 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 uh, of course, uh, Sergio. I, I think I think Sergio is really chastened and really genuinely feels bad about this fried chicken comment yeah. which got so much publicity mm -hmm. and that's what it's about and he he said he he didn't he didn't get to actually talk to tiger in depth so he left him a handwritten note nice. you know and, and uh, uh well tiger can share that if he wants to uh, i'm not going to share it it was intended for him so he can share it if he wants to well tiger's not going to share right. uh, a, a damn thing and it, but that's fine there's no reason why he should uh, of course tiger wants this is all in the past and everything's fine so so um, uh, but that's that's where we are. I think uh, I, I think that's it's gone. I think that controversy is gone. That was the bigger story that was playing out yesterday. There, yeah. Um, coverage wise, we are going to have you doing columns. I say we, Lancaster newspapers. Mm -hmm. Jason Fulginetti is going to be doing some stuff with Jim Furyk. We didn't we didn't have you mention a lot of it because. 
Jason and him. Yeah, Jason and him. They, they actually are, are close to the same age and kind of knew each other as kids. So, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, they, they've always, uh, they, they've always uh, got along pretty well. So, uh, he's going to at least try to do a, a Furyk story today for tomorrow's paper. That's be Thursday's paper. And then uh, the tournament starts uh, tomorrow. So, uh, Jason and I will be, I hope, all over it. It should be interesting.